What's up everybody, Jose once again from PetRockMedia.com. We are back with another video today. And in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the newly announced Sony ZV-E10 camera, which is an interchangeable camera body that Sony has put out that's directly the big brother to the Sony ZV-1, which we are recording on right now in S-Log3 format. Let's talk about it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and punch that bell icon so you'll be notified of all the content we post to the channel. So lately, ever since we purchased the Sony ZV-1, we've been utilizing it to crank out some pretty amazing videos for this channel. I'd say about 75 to 80% of the content since we purchased this camera about a year ago has been created courtesy of the Sony ZV-1. It's compact, has great color science. Right now we're filming on the S-Log3 format, has the ability to finally accept an external microphone. So we're utilizing the Rode NTG USB microphone. Great, great audio capabilities on that amazing microphone. Definitely, definitely something you should consider looking into if you're wanting to upgrade your audio. But the star of the show today is going to be the comparison to the newly announced Sony ZV-E10. Now one of the things you're going to notice right out of the gate is that this camera accepts interchangeable lenses. Now video capabilities, if you paid attention to the Sony announcement video, and we're going to be rolling some of the footage as we talk over it. Sony stated that it's a downsampled 6K video feed that's downsampled to 4K, and that 4K signal comes out at 30 frames per second or 120 frames per second in 1080p. It is a 24.2 APS-C XMAR CMOS sensor. I'm looking at my notes right now. Uh, it has a three inch side flip out touchscreen LCD. 425 point fast hybrid autofocus points, which is pretty remarkable in my opinion, up to 11 frames per second. ISO ranges from the low end of 100 all the way up to 32. Thousand. So let's see what that looks like. Real-time IF tracking. The background defocus are kind of similar to what the Sony ZV-1 has, that background automatic defocus that it has a little dedicated button to. You'll have that option also on this new camera. It has a brand new microphone or directional um, three capsule microphone. I'm not a huge fan of it. I've heard already samples from that. I don't really like it in real world scenarios. Now, potentially in a controlled environment such as a studio, it may be a, a great way to kind of start off your channel. But again, it's going to be something that you definitely want to look into looking at off camera audio. And of course, with that, it has headphone and microphone jacks. So if you're doing any kind of videography, you'll have a pair of headphones to monitor the audio. And it has, again, the capabilities of accepting an external microphone such as a Rode NTUS. Now, according to the website, it has the abilities of giving you unlimited UHD 4K footage, 3840 by 2160 at 29.99 frames, 30 frames per second. So this thing, apparently, according to them, will not overheat, which has me a little concerned when it said that it was a downsampled 6K uh, signal. But according to them, unlimited recording at 4K, 30 frames per second will not overheat again according to the release it does have the ability for you to utilize this camera for live streaming and webcam purposes as well so for those of you who are working from home and need something a little bit better than a built-in webcam the new camera from sony the sony zv e10 is definitely an option to look at if you're wanting an interchangeable lens to not only utilize in personal but also professional now one of the things that sony did talk about in their release video is the optional kind of selfie stick if you will we actually have this to utilize with the sony zv1 once you do utilize it you can zoom in and out it's a pretty decent selfie stick if you will it does have the ability for the the kind of tripod head to move up and down so what they were utilizing it for was if you were kind of selfie vlogging like this and then you wanted to turn it around or do it in horizontal mode so if you're trying to do anything on instagram live or anything like that you could put the camera down like that create some quick short videos for youtube or for instagram have it like this the camera up and down and then when you're done you simply pick it back up turn it whichever way and start either recording that way or this way so this is pretty cool that it does have backwards compatibility with the latest version of the sony kind of selfie stick if you will that wraps up this video everybody i just wanted to kind of break the news as far as the brand new release from sony the sony zv e10 it is the bigger brother to the sony zv1 it does have the ability for you to utilize uh, interchangeable lenses so that is kind of a plus 
Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is this something that you are interested in? Are you super excited about this brand new camera release from Sony? Are you now gonna potentially look at maybe purchasing a Sony ZV-1? Because in my opinion, the price of the ZV-1 is going to drop because starting point for this camera is $699 without a lens. And if you want the kit lens, which is this, you know, the typical Sony kit lens, it's gonna come in at $799. So at $800 plus tax, you're looking sub thousand dollars for an APS-C sensor on this pretty amazing little camera. So it's something to think about. But again, let me know down in the comments down below what each and every one of you think about this brand new Sony release. Will you be picking one up? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up or two thumbs down. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you stopping on by and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.